Well, how about that throne speech, eh? Talk about a build-up. Now, usually, these things come and go without a peep, but not with this government. Oh, no. Stephen Harper wanted this throne speech to have the weight of an American State of the Union address, so for the first time in decades, it aired on primetime on the CBC. And wow! There was 40 minutes that seemed like four hours, huh? I just feel bad for all those people who tuned in hoping to catch Just for Laughs in their regularly scheduled time slot. You can imagine how disappointed they were. I mean, there they were, sitting on the couch after a hard day at work. They got their feet up, they got the bowl of chips, they got their beer open, all ready to watch some funny French people scare the hell out of each other. And what did they get? Some woman in a throne next to some other guy in a throne, and she's reading to the prime minister out of a storybook. Now, personally, I like a throne speech, if for no other reason than it makes Canadians ask the question, what the hell do we have a throne for anyway? And I know Canada is a constitutional monarchy, and the minute anyone says anything about getting rid of the governor general, the place goes up. But please, as a nation, can't we just agree to at least get rid of the spouse? It's a little nutty. The man does nothing, and yet he gets a great big throne. The prime minister is in a folding chair. The head of the Canadian forces is standing. Why don't we just take that throne, donate it to a theater company in Flin Flon, tell the husband if he wants to watch, he can watch it on TV like everyone else. And really, who wants to go to work with their spouse anyway? I can't imagine how many Canadians have had to say to their wife, um, honey, I know this is a really big day for you, but I'm not going to your office Christmas party. I don't like it. I don't know anyone. All you do is talk about work. I end up sitting there like an idiot while your boss stares at your breasts. Basically, that was a throne speech in a nutshell. Oh, that, and still no mention of a personal income tax cut from these so-called conservatives. At least with Just for Laughs, the laughs are intentional.